Are you tired of your SteamVR look like this? Instead, you can make it look like this. <clears throat> so, what we need to do? Um, obviously, you know, if you go to play area and you go to background, you can select custom like things. I already have some custom imported because uh, I imported that earlier. And I'm going to show you how to add your custom own backgrounds to your Steam VR. So let's begin. So firstly, what we want to do is go to Steam VR and go to Workshop. And as we are here, we can search background. And here, as you can see, there are a lot of things you can add to your Steam VR. And I'm going, for example, to add this one. Audio Shield Menu Background. I'm going to subscribe to it. And after restarting, we can go to our play area, go to backgrounds, and select the new one that we just already imported, which will be that one in my case, that we are just subscribed to. And as you can see, it's custom, new, and probably much better than original background that you had in your Steam VR. And that's the first way how to add it. And the second way is actually to mess up around the files of your Steam VR. And not really mess up, but you know, you go to your Steam apps, common Steam VR resources, backgrounds. And here you can import some custom backgrounds. For example, I imported this Milky Way panorama picture. And this is like from uh, a skybox in Unity because, uh, yeah, those are also acceptable. Uh, I didn't know what about the extension. I or I converted that to PNG because, uh, yeah, everything here is in PNG. So I wanted to keep that, you know, in the same extension. So, yeah, I added that. I copied the picture here and I'm going to restart my Steam VR to apply it. And after restarting my Steam VR, I again go to Settings, Play Area, Background. And then I choose my Milky Way that I just imported. And it's here. And as you can see, I have my entire Milky Way here. Everything is smooth, there is nothing like, uh, you know, this line where the background ends. Um, and yeah. It doesn't mean that it must be something that is already made. You can also make your own custom um, backgrounds if you know what you're doing and you know how to do a panorama pictures or in general you know how to you know make the image to loop and to look it to look, just look good. So the creativity I'm leaving to you. You can do whatever you want with your CVR, but definitely you want to play around with that because the default Steam is kind of boring. For example, I also imported that background from uh, Steam VR Workshop. This is some sort of cyberpunk, if I am right. And yeah, that one is also really cool. Yeah. So yeah, that was another tutorial of things. And I'll see you on the next one. See ya.